Bonjour les élèves, bonjour les élèves, comment ça va? Comment ça va? J'espère que ça va très bien. Good morning, students. I hope today you are fine. In, in this lesson, I'm bringing you a part of speech, especially um, the prepositions, prepositions in French. I'm bringing you French prepositions. So we say, les prepositions. Les prepositions. Can you say that again? Les prepositions. Let's quickly have a look at what is preposition. Une préposition exprime la relation entre deux mots. Elle est accompagnée par un nom ou pronom. A preposition tells us about the relationship between two words. It is accompanied by either a noun or pronoun. Clearly, let's go and have a look at what is preposition, uh, preposition or prepositions. We are going to demonstrate that one through images. So have a look at this one. Have a look at this. These are some prepositions that we are going to work on. Étudier et lire les prépositions ci-dessous. Again, étudier et lire les prépositions ci-dessous. Study and read the prepositions below. Let's read them, those in red. Dans, repeat after me. Dans, sur, sous, devant, derrière. Entre, contre, dans, sur, sous, devant, derrière, entre, contre. Again, dans, can you say that? Dans, sur, sous, devant, derrière, entre, contre. C'est un mot qui décrit un objet comparable à un autre. It is a word that describes an object compared to another one. Talking about their position. That's what we are going to see. When you take two things, like this one, this phone and this, you see their position. You can see that this one is close to the next one. So here we are going to demonstrate it through images for you to have a clear look at the prepositions. Let's see this. Let's look at this image. When you look at the image, what can you see? Tell me, a ball. You can see a ball, right? Great. You like ball, that's why you first version ball. And what else? You can see a box, an open box. And where is the ball position compared to the box? That's the lesson I'm teaching you this day. Where is the ball position compared to the box? In English, how will you say it? That the ball is inside the box. The ball is inside the box. In French, you don't say inside. There's a preposition for that. So here we are going to see the inside of the box. This is the inside dans. So, le ballon est dans la, or dans le carton. Le ballon est dans le carton. So, can you say dans? 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 Good. Let's have a look at the next picture. This one. The same items. But now look at the positions. It has changed. The position of the ball compared to that of the box have changed. The two positions now. Let's look at the ball. Where is the ball? Yes, you. You that girl, yes. The ball is under, under, under. This is the, ball, the box here. And the ball is under the box. So under in French, or under in French means sou, sou. Can you repeat? Sou. Sous, le ballon est sous le carton. 
Le ballon est sous le carton. So it says sous. Let's read the two prepositions here. Dans. Dans is inside. And sous, under. Dans is inside. Sous, under. So let's read together. Dans. Can you say that again? Dans. Sous. Dans. Sous. Let's go to the next picture display. Have a look at this. Wow. Now the ball has changed the position. So where is the ball now? The ball, we are positioning the ball compared to the box. So where is the ball now? The ball is on. The ball is on, on the box. So you say, le ballon est sur, sur, sur. Le ballon est sur le carton. Can you repeat? Le ballon est sur le carton. Let's have a look at this one, this box. Can you see that? When you look at the box, can you have, can you tell us where is the ball compared to the box? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the box and the ball. Now the position of the ball has changed compared to the box. So we are always comparing the ball to the box. So now where's the position of the ball? Mm -hmm. Yes, the ball is in front, right? In front, in front of the box. So in French, we say the ball is, le ballon est devant, devant, devant. Can you repeat? Devant, devant, devant. Let's go to the next picture display. Look at the ball now. Look at the ball. The ball is hiding somewhere. So what can you say about the position of the ball compared to the box? You said behind? Good. It is behind, really behind. But in French, you don't say behind. Can you tell us what behind means in French? Yes, you, that boy. You said derrière. Oh, great. That boy. You said derrière. 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 Can you all say that? Derrière. Le ballon est derrière le carton. Le ballon est derrière le carton. Le ballon est derrière le carton. Can you pick your book? When you go to your book, go to page. Let me get it for you. Don't worry. Page 79 and 80. You are solving 79 and 80. That's what we are treating. Well, this is the book that we are using for the tutorial. If your child is not having, kindly call 0243-239497. 0243-239497. Let me remind you that this initiative is proudly powered by Dr. Clement Appa, Department of Linguistics, University of Ghana. He has taught wise to bring audiovisual tutorial in French so that our kids can learn French without any stress. Because we used to say, oh, my French teacher is not available. I don't have French teacher. My school, in my school, we don't do French. This is the way out for you. Either you do French or not, what is School of Languages is making available video tutorials together with book for free. When you subscribe, you get a book for free just to practice. Yes, go to our website www.whatischooloflanguages.com and subscribe and get a book for free. For free, schools can do the same. Immediately you subscribe for your kids. If they are 100, we give you 100 books. If they are 200, we give you 200 books. Let me also commend the effort of Mrs. Wendy Dionster Bastin, Deputy Director General Dionster International School for her support. I salute you, great woman. Now, my kids, my people, let's continue our lesson of today. Please keep quiet, keep quiet. All right. We said le ballon est derrière le carton. Now, let's have a look at another one. Now, look at this image. Where is the ball? We have two boxes now. And where is the ball? 
The ball is in between, between the two boxes. Have you seen? So in French, we don't say between. Then who can tell us? Mm. Are you ready? I'm going to give something to the person who will be able. What, what would you like? Really, pizza. That's great. That's great. That's great. Okay, Nicholas, don't worry. If you get it correct, you get pizza. If you don't get it correct, don't worry at all. I know the next question, you get it correct. So can we try, Nicholas? Yes. He said, Antra. That's great. Clap for him. Clap for Nicholas. Give that one. Give me Boza, Nicholas. The word is Antra. That's the preposition, the correct one. And when you say and here, when it is a preposition, it means between. But when it is a verb, that one means come in. But here we are talking about preposition. So do not confuse. It depends on the context in which we are defining the word. So it is a preposition, which means and between two things. That's great. We are moving to the next section. Hmm. We are not done yet. Nicholas got it correct. I'm waiting for Annette, who is also a gay in this class. Annette, this is your question. Look at the picture. Now we have a ball, we have a box, and they are showing a direction. It means that the ball is being directed to the box. So what could be the preposition here? Like we are leaving A position to B. So we are moving toward Oh, you have, oh wow. Towards, yes, that's for English. The French, how do you say? Mm -hmm. Annette, you want what? Pizza too? Okay, so I'm listening. Nicholas has pizza with me. Annette, what is the correct answer here? Mm -hmm. There, there, that's great. One for Annette. There, that's fine. Annette, give it to me. Oza, you take it. All right. It's there. Look at it. It means towards. The ball is towards the box. Le ballon est vers le carton. Le ballon est vers le carton. Now let's go to the next picture display. Today I'm really charged. Why? Because you are doing a great job. You are charged, I'm charged. Let's look at this one. This one is not derrière, it's not devant is close to, close, there's no space. So how do you say that one in French? It's close, it has, I mean, the, the, yeah, there's no space at all. Even the wind cannot pass between the two. Mm -hmm. No, we say something, say it, I'm listening. Yes, he said, God's time said, pray, pray, Pre, pre, pre de, that's great. Pre de, le ballon est pre du carton. Simple. Le ballon est pre du carton. So here it is pre de, pre de. Can we repeat that? Pre de, again, pre de. Let's go to the next picture display. Pre de, that's the spelling of pre de. The next picture. <laughs> Look at Mr. Watts, Mr. Watts, Mr. Watts. Really, you are, you are making great things for the kids to learn French. I love you, Mr. Watts. That's great. That was. Look at the ball here in the box. Hmm. This ball, I need to give it to one of the boys here. The one who gets this one correct, I'll pick it and give it to you. Who won the ball? Who won it? Okay. I have how many people? Four, five, six, seven, oh, really? Now, you let me the answer. If you get it correct, the ball is for you. If you don't get it correct, don't blame me, right? Okay. Hmm. Now the question, what is the preposition here? Looking at the first one, the ball is, is close to. There's no space, but this one, you see there's a small space there. The ball has not touched the box yet. So how do we say in French? This one is near, near, but it is not close. 
it is near. So you say, mm -hmm. should I say it? Oh, okay, let me see. A côté de, a côté de, that's two words to form yes, near. Two words, to for, uh, three words to form near. So le ballon est à côté du carton. Le ballon est à côté du carton. Here you say du because carton is masculine. If it were a feminine word, you can say de la. De la. Le ballon est à côté de la table. So you take the à côté de for you to understand better. All right, let's go. The question here is for ladies, guys. Yes, are you there? Great. Now look at the position of the ball. When you look at the four images, you see the different in position. Look at the position of the ball here. Mm -hmm. You see the space between the ball and the box is a little bit far compared to the one on top, compared to the one down here. So, mm -hmm. far from, yes, English, you say far from, the, the ball is far from the box. But in French, you say, Le ballon est loin de, loin de. So the preposition here is loin de, loin de, loin de. All right, let's go and read the four preposition you've gotten on this, uh, on this page. Ver, repeat after me. Ver, ver, à côté de, à côté de, près de. Près de, loin de, loin de, vers, à côté de, à côté de. Don't worry, your pizza is there, Nicholas. Then I'm there, don't worry. Près de, loin de. All right. But before you go, let's have a look at other preposition in the same lesson. So let's go. Autre preposition. Autre preposition. You see, throughout my lessons, you can see that everything is written in French, except some places where I do explain or translate for you, because we are teaching French with French here. The children should be able to start reading. That's why I do not translate those kind of, I mean, the title or the subtitle for them to be able to read. So you should understand, That's the, that is our strategy at what is true of languages. If not, you could have written other prepositions. The here, you say autre preposition. Let's go and have a look at other prepositions. Ah, when you look at ah, there's accent on the ah. It means ax. Je vais à l'école. It means ax. It can also mean to. It can mean to. So the A with accent means at or to. For example, you can say, je vais à l'école. Je vais à l'école. I am going to school. I am going to school. Je vais à l'école. I am going to school. Il habite à Accra. Il habite a Accra. He lives or stays in Accra or at Accra. He habits a Accra. Let's see the next one. Un. You say un. Don't say un. Say un. Or l. Don't say l. Un. Can you say that? Un. Again. Un. That means in or to, depending on the context. Like, je vais en Côte d'Ivoire. It's when the noun is feminine that you use un. Je vais en France. I am going to France. Or j'habite en Côte d'Ivoire. I live in Côte d'Ivoire. So depending on the context, you use un for in or un for to. When it is a movement verb, verb of movement, like you move, then you say to. Then if it is not in the situation where you move, you say in or the un. 
Oh, je vais au marché. It is same as the first one can mean at or to. Oh, plural, with X or X at the end, right? We say X at the end. This one is used for masculine, it's used for plural nouns. Plural nouns, be it masculine or feminine, plural nouns. For example, je vais aux États-Unis d'Amérique. I'm going to the United States of America. I am going to the United States of America. So because of the USA, United States, not only one state, they're all supposed to be plural form with X. Let us read the preposition, other prepositions. Ah, un, o, o, a, un, o, o. All right. This is the end of the lesson on preposition. I hope you were blessed because the class was so charged. Let us compare to the guests did marvelously a great job. I like your commitment and also your dedication. But I entreat you, parents at home, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, What is School of Languages, for more videos. When you subscribe, kindly click on bell. Click on bell. And also, you can also uh, like our videos so that anytime we drop a video, you get notified and watch. Until then, do not go because let me tell you something. There's a secret. Learning a language is by practicing. You practice the aura and the writing. So you are practicing the aura and your writing. That's why you need a book. If you don't have the book, your studies is somehow limited. If it's not somehow, but it is, you have, there, there, there will be a situation where you need to pronounce or practice the words in daily life. So we entreat you to get a copy of our book, which is French Literacy and Numeracy Scale, KD2. This is for KD2. I would like to say very big thank you for being part of this live telecast right from Studio B of what is School of Languages. Until then, merci, au revoir.